Hey guys, so today we're going to talk about diatomaceous earth. Okay. Now, some people know this product as a bug killer because when bugs consume it, they die. But it's also something that we can consume too. You do not want to inhale it, by the way, but taking a food grade diatomaceous earth is actually a very, very uh, safe thing and it's very, very healthy. It can actually help detox metals in the body. It can help kill pathogens. Uh, you want to make sure you get the food grade, which is a non-crystalline form, okay? So it's not heated. Because when you actually heat this product, it turns into a crystal and that's not the form that you want to consume. So what is diatomaceous earth? It's basically prehistoric, about 13 to 50 million years ago, fossilized phytoplankton, okay? Phyto meaning plant. So it's like an algae. And this phytoplankton consumes on a yearly basis 6.7 billion metric tons of silica. So it pulls in the silica. And when this plankton dies, it leaves the shell at the bottom of the um, ocean or seabed. So in certain oceans, there's about a half a mile of this shell sitting there. So you can see that, that these guys have been around for a very, very long time. And another interesting note is 50% of the oxygen that you breathe on this planet is created by phytoplankton. So the real big benefit of diatomaceous earth is the silica, okay? And by the way, it's the second most prevalent element on this planet other than oxygen, so it's all over the place. But it's really good for maintaining the structure of our bodies. Uh, great for the nails, strong nails. If you have brittle nails, you need to take some of this. Good for the hair. It makes your hair really shiny and healthy. It actually gives the skin more of a fuller look, so it's, it's less wrinkly. As you age, you lose silica. So if you're over the age of 50, taking some of this could actually help you look more youthful. It's great for ligaments and tendons and elasticity, flexibility. Uh, did you realize that your bone contains more silica than calcium? So it's, it's actually, you need it for the bone. The aorta, it supports the aorta, which is a main vessel uh, that emanates from the heart. It supports the teeth in gums. So if you have a loose tooth, this would be good to take. Make sure you do not inhale it, okay? It's not good for the lungs, but get a food grade. I don't have any specific brands. Find one with good reviews and uh, take about a teaspoon a day on an empty stomach. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you're liking this content, please subscribe now and I will actually keep you updated on future videos.